Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, my name is Stefan Passion, also known as Infensia, and um, it's time for another Blender quick build. I'm gonna spend 10 minutes to try to make myself an Imperial Star Destroyer. I watched uh, Star Wars uh, Rise of uh, Skywalker, is it called, uh, with my son, and we really enjoyed it and it got me a bit inspired. And then I uh, keep uh, thinking about those cool Star Destroyers as they come in. And I thought, why not? I'll try that one. I'm gonna make this into a bit of a segment. I'm gonna try to release a weekly build of uh, like 10 minutes or maybe a little bit more or less of uh, some objects in Blender. The last one that I made of this 10 minute starship was, or like spaceship, was uh, fairly popular. <laughs> well, at least in my figures, uh, uh, since I don't really get uh, too many views, but <coughs> that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to make this one into a weekly segment this year. So let me know if you, in the comments if you'd like to see that or not. So I'm not going to colorize this one, I don't think I'll have time for it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get the shape right. It's going to be stressful enough as it is. So I've got Blender 2.81 loaded and uh, it's just the perimeter start scene. I'll start with deleting the objects and start from the perimeter cube. So shut up, let's go. <laughs> right, ready? Oh, oh, I have to set my timer. Timer, timer. 10 minutes starts now. There we go. All right, so I'll start with the usual delete the stuff that I don't need. Tab edit mode, split with the loop cut, delete vertices, enable the trusted mirror modifier, clipping enabled, I need, okay, let's select everything, top view, seven on the keypad, scale and shift Z, because I only want to scale it this size. Okay, that'll have to do, shift space G, let's move it in. Let's try to get the shape of a star destroyer here. Can't remember the proportions really, but something like that maybe. And then uh, we want to move uh, this one. We want to scale uh, on the Z axis. That one too. Scale Z axis. I don't know what the dimensions are here either. That's uh, I'll have to do. Control R for loop cut. There we want that one. And let's bring this in. Uh, e to extrude S to scale it. I'll move it in a little bit. Okay, that'll have to do. And here, we'll probably move these up. So let's pick these vertices here. Scale. Oh, I missed it. Scale Z. So, okay, that'll have to do. And I think uh, actually it's supposed to go in here as well, isn't it? So let's bring it in. Oh, okay. And then I think it's got some sort of a shape here, like that. Uh, I think it's some sort of a docking bay or something for spaceships or TIE Fighters, I'm not sure what the size or anything is. I to inset, B for there. Let's bring this in a bit. G. Okay, and I think let's make it so that it's got... Let's move that one up a bit and this one down a bit. Okay. Oh yeah, I want to switch this one to my favorite view here, uh, which is going to be some cavity so we can see what's going on here a little bit better. Okay, now I need to seriously get into some shapes. I think it's got some uh, like raised parts on the ship here. I don't know exactly what it looks like, but let's, that'll have to do. Here, um, I think it's also got some geometric shapes and it's like a tiered cake, I think. So let's put some tears on this. Uh, so apologies <laughs> if I don't get this uh, correct. I don't really know what uh, the tears look like or anything, but I think it's something like three or four or maybe five tears. Let's put a few on there. And then I think we're going to extrude a few of these up. I used the knife tool there, by the way. Uh, and let's change the this to medium or individual scale. This one I'll just inset and put down a bit to, for some texture. And then here I'll use Control plus uh, E to extrude. Well, let's make this tiered cake now. I don't know what the heights are. Control minus or E to extrude that one. Control minus E to extrude. Control minus E to extrude. Well, don't know if that's too many tiers. Uh, and I think it's got the higher centers. Okay, so and let's put some indentations here for like windows or something. I E to extrude, S to scale, something like that. That'll have to do. Uh, okay, and let's put some engines on here. Uh, so, three shift, 
S cursor to select it. And we need some sort of a cylinder here. Shift A cylinder, but we only want eight. So keep that low poly look. Rotate, scale it down. Uh, side view, scale. Okay, so I think it's got it's got three engines anyway in the back here. So that'll do. I to inset, E to extrude, I. And it's got some sort of a center thing here as well, so L. And then it's got oh, too big or too far in. Okay, that'll have to do. Uh, and then uh, Shift D, I'll have to duplicate that one and press P to separate into a different object because on this one I don't want uh, the mirror modifier. Shift G. Um, move this one into the center. How am I doing for time? Five minutes, half time already gone. No. Okay, that'll do. And then here. L. Okay, I think it's got some smaller ones as well, doesn't it? Uh, so, Shift D, scale it down. G. Shift D. Okay, that'll have to do. And then let's put this uh, control tower or something like that here. Shift A, cube. Let's get rid of the center thing, faces. L, and move this one in. <clears throat> and it's got some sort of a, like a razor back type of thing here. So let's put this one like that. I don't know if it's too high or too low or anything. Uh, and control R, let's extrude this one. Well, it's got the basic shape. It'll be fun to compare to the original later on, <laughs> to see. Oh no. Uh, e, scale it down. Uh, let's bring this forward as well. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that though. And then we need to inset this. Oh yeah. Let's scale this along the Z. E to extrude, S to scale it down. Okay, that'll do. And then it's got some radar things, doesn't it, here? Shift A. Shift space there. Shift A, let's put an icosphere there. Clipping off, scale, clipping on. Scale. Okay, and then pick the bottom vertex, control plus E to, e to extrude this down. Okay, and then let's put something here as well. Some, uh, okay, that'll do. Uh, how am I doing? Three minutes to go. Scale. Okay, I have no idea what those were. Okay, so what do we need more? Uh, that's done. Let's put some cannons here as well. So I think it's got a few six or eight cannons here. So I use the knife tool there. Then F3 subdivide this one. Let's do it three times. I to inset. I to inset again because I want them individual. E to extrude. I. E to extrude here. Let's get the cursor here. Shift S, cursor selected, Shift A. Let's put another icosphere here. Nope, I wanted an icosphere. Scale it down. And let's extrude some cannon pipes here. I know this is gonna look a bit strange probably there. Oh, we need this one. E to extrude, right click, <clears throat> G to grab them. Okay. Let's inset this as well. It's got some funky shapes there, but well, that'll do. E to extrude. Okay, that'll do. And then let's duplicate this cannon tower. Shift D. Shift D. And Shift D. That'll do. Okay. And let's put some. Let's see. I should. Uh, how much am I time? One minute and fifty-five seconds to go. Uh, what should I put? Let's put some uh, geometry here as well then. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, let's put some knife cuts here with the knife tool just to get some panels. So, no science to this, just some random panels to get some uh, nicer looking shapes here. So one minute to go. 
I've got the engines. Have I forgot something? Probably forgot loads of things like other cannons and things like that, but I can't. I won't have time to do that, so. Okay, the engines are there. That'll have to do. Control tower. Let's drop this one a bit. Maybe control R this one at a time. I to inset. E to extrude that one. Okay, so 37 seconds to go. Let's do something with these panels as well. How much time? 26 seconds. Let's do something with these panels. I to inset, I to inset again. And let's drop them down or bring them up. Okay, three seconds to go. Okay, that'll have to do. Ah, okay. There we go. Ten minutes are up. Star destroyer done. What did I forget? Oh, I forgot to switch this off. Dismiss. Alright, we'll have to do uh, some sort of a comparison. Don't know how this uh, ended up, but I'm uh, okay. I think it's got the basic shapes. Don't know, have a clue about the tiers or a number of uh, the positions and things. I think the engines are fairly correct, the num number of them anyway. Uh, it's got some radar towers or wherever it is. Not so much details up here in the control tower. I think there uh, should be some uh, geometry there. No chance I had time for <laughs> to add that one in the time frame allotted. But overall, I'm happy with it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this one. I'll try to challenge myself to do some speed builds. I think it's a great way to uh, like just reiterate and, and hammer in those skills in uh, Blender. It's super useful for when I do Ludum Dares and game jams and things like that. So just keep in this repetitive process, modeling, speed modeling on my own. Uh, and I enjoy it a lot. It's a lot of fun, stressful, challenging, and I'll uh, probably uh, dream about the hotkeys in the end, but I'm okay with that. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, and Happy New Year, and enjoy 2020. I hope you've uh, had a good start to it, and I hope it's going to be a fantastic year for you. And uh, take care of yourself, and goodbye. <laughs>